What's up guys, Stallmatter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another decoy voice video. So it's been a while since we reacted to one of these, I think it was uh, last September maybe. Um, but this is another one about the, the Trump assassination attempt. We've done quite a few of these, a lot of suggestions on different videos about the Trump assassination attempt. Uh, this one is, they don't want you to see this. So uh, yeah, I'm not exactly sure what this is about. I, I, I have some guesses, possibly about uh, the people that warned about the guy climbing up the building. Uh, but anyway, link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. In Butler, Pennsylvania, President Donald Trump was making a speech when someone tried to take his life. Take a look at what happened. Oh. Get down, get down, get down, get down. They actually captured the bullet coming within inches of his skull. And in the wow. most iconic moment of our generation, crazy the picture. president didn't cower, didn't crawl away, but got up to tell the people, fight. I got you, sir. I got you, sir. Let me get my shoes, sir. Hold that in your head, buddy. Sir, we gotta move to the bus. Let me get my shoes. Okay, let's get the shoes. Watch out. Such an iconic photo. As this image of Trump triumphantly walking away from his assassination attempt immediately brings his next campaign slogan. <laughs> the 50 cent. Oh, I thought it was good. Somebody made an AI voice one of Trump. It's Trump singing Many Men by 50 Cent. And it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. He got shot like I got shot, but he ain't fucking breathing. <laughs> Which, yeah. Unfortunately, so is one of the Trump supporters. That kind of sucks. It's uh, He ended up getting hit with one of the strays. And yeah. I think there was two other people that were injured as well. As the only ad he has to run now is him shouting fight with a bullet wound on his face next to Biden losing his fight with the stairs. Now, I normally like to provide concise, light order commentary, and in light of this terrible event, I still want to despite the direction our country is headed, but I do want to highlight that although Trump survived, a random innocent Trump supporter lost their life with two more in critical condition, as people initially thought this was the shooter in the crowd, but a witness described trying to save that innocent person's life. Somebody over there was screaming, he's been shot, he's been shot, so I made my way over. Uh, I said, I'm an emergency department physician, let me help you. The guy had spun around, was jammed between the benches. He had a headshot here. There's lots of blood, and he had brain matter. Oh fuck! As it's not confirmed as of yet, but this story about the okay, yeah, this is the guy. I saw this on X. People sharing this on X. Um, yeah, this guy, like, apparently him and a couple of the people that he were with warned the police of some guy trying to climb up on the building, and they didn't do anything about it. And it's this is where the conspiracy theories start coming out, right? Because it makes people wonder. Was this, you know, just incompetence or was it deliberate, right? And then you have all these conspiracy theories surrounding this now. The shooter is starting to sound true. We noticed a guy crawling, arm, you know, bear crawling up the roof of the building beside us, 50, 50 feet away from us. And he had a gun, right? He had a rifle. A rifle. We could clearly see him with a rifle. Absolutely. Um, we're pointing at him. The police are down there running around on the ground. We're like, hey, man, there's guy on the roof with a rifle and the police were like huh what you know like, <laughs> like they didn't know what was going on next thing you know five shots ring out so you're you're certain that the shots came from that guy on the roof 100 percent, 100 we know that for sure now yeah. probably not because the roof the way the, the slope went he was behind where they could see but but why is there not secret service on all of these roofs here i mean this is not a big place as there was corroborating footage of a man on that roof it later showed authorities taking that body into custody, which makes the shot attempt at over 150 yards away. So over a football field away, the fate of our country was decided by one inch. Now the media immediately tried to downplay this as shards of a teleprompter that hit Trump's head, but we can't expect much from these scumbags as they tout commentary like this after he gets shot and his supporter actually loses their life. Donald Trump and the people around him perceive themselves to be under threat, and that's all that matters. That is, that is not legitimate, that is wrong. Um, you hear the screams from the audience, people um, are terrified. And CNN initially downplayed it on their front page with a headline reading that Trump just fell at the rally. Washington Post said the shots were just loud noises. So NBC News, USA Today, and the Los Angeles Times all marched in lockstep to call an assassination attempt 
Man, this is like the fucking mostly peaceful protest while shit's on fire. It's like, yeah, loud noises fell from loud... Oh my god, they're so... It's like, bro, he got tackled by Secret Service after somebody tried to fucking shoot him. Fell from loud noises. They do anything that... Ugh, it's so disingenuous. It's so irritating. Loud noises. But this is pretty much on brand yeah, with mo fiery but mostly peaceful. And if the mainstream media wasn't bad oh, enough... Oh, fucking Hassan. I, I honestly didn't even think of this, but yeah, like Hassan's probably got one of the worst takes ever, I can imagine. Liberal political commentators are somehow worse. He's cliff farming harder than the new crop of FaZe talent. He's like FaZe Ronaldo. He's clip farming harder than Jinxie. He keeps throwing up his f***ing fist. Been in many of these Trump and as it initially trended on Twitter, two of the top stories were you had one job and staged which really shows how disgusting politics have become online, as sadly, most conservatives and centrists see these liberal vote blue no matter who NPCs and just view them as terribly misguided, brainwashed, and or emotionally manipulated. But these leftists see the America first conservatives as something that needs to be eliminated. Because I'll tell you- Yeah, that's one of the things that, it, it drives me nuts about uh, politics. And th this isn't just true, like it's, it's true of the United States, but it's also true of the West as a whole, right? conservatives vastly underestimate their political enemies. They view them as well-intentioned morons, right? And I think part of that is because most conservative people at one point or another were young ideological liberals. And then, you know, they grew up, they got a job, they started a family, and then they realized how delusional they were, right? When they actually have to start paying taxes and have to start supporting their family, and, you know, they realized that their beliefs were delusional. And it's like, yeah, that's true for a lot of the foot soldiers. The problem is the people that are in charge of this are well aware of what they're doing, right? Like, so much of this stuff comes out of, like, Gramscian philosophy, right? It, 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 it's an outgrowth of cultural Marxism, right? Which p people still, I, I have the laser pig video. I get one comment, I bet you, every two to three days. I just stopped replying to them because it's always the same fucking dumbass comment about how cultural Marxism does not exist. It's not a real thing. It's conspiracy theory. It's like, no, it, it literally, it's from Antonio Gramsci. Like, it's a, a Marxist political philosopher that came up with the concept, right? It's not some conspiracy. Theory. Wikipedia actually had it on Wikipedia of what it was. They, they, the correct definition of it, talking about Gramsci and everything, prior to the 2016 election and then once conservatives started to criticize it then they changed it to an anti-semitic conspiracy theory right now it's it's uh, cultural marxism conspiracy theory there is no there's not like the old cultural marxism that they would actually talk about the actual political philosophy they they, they removed that from wikipedia but oh my god it's People underestimate their the, the Republicans drastically underestimate uh, their enemies, right? They think they're all useful idiots, and that's definitely true of a lot of the foot soldiers. But a lot of the people that are in charge are very intelligent, and are basically going to reinstitute a, a sort of like pseudo feudalism under the, the guise of communism is essentially what they want to do, right? right now i don't like biden but i just don't want him in power i don't want anything to happen to him but luckily for us trump is all right as he immediately took to social media to thank the secret service and law enforcement give his condolences to the supporter that lost their life and the others that were injured to confirm that he was hit with a bullet not a teleprompter and god bless america but over an hour after the shooting biden took to the stage to downplay the incident okay. mr president do you think this was an assassination attempt I don't know enough to, I, I, have, I, have an, I have an opinion, but I don't have any facts. So I Pretty want to make sure we have all the facts before I... But, you know, no, they were just shooting at him to scare him. Make some comment, any more comments. So, Possibly meant to because graze just ear. a week earlier, he told donors to put Trump in the bullseye. Now, I'm not saying he's directly responsible through that quote, but the whole he's going to end democracy, end your way of life, or take away your freedoms that he and the entire mainstream dinosaur media has been repeating over and over likely is. Because even though plenty of people lived through Trump's first administration perfectly fine, suffering through affordable food, cheap gas, and a few mean tweets, some idiots can't remember what they did last week, let alone what their life was like in 2017. Yeah, what, and have? the media <laughs> preys upon those idiots. Man, it, it, uh, most of those voters are the, you know, the, the what'd you have for breakfast. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, definitely check it out. It's so fucking funny. It's not about how, like, people can't understand theoreticals. Uh, or, 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 oh, I, 
Yeah, it's it's like it's what you have for breakfast or what would you like for breakfast or stuff like that. And it's it's yeah. Idiots. But this moment will backfire as the memes in response are legendary. Saying Donald Trump is Neo from the Matrix, <laughs> with the NFL's Antonio Brown calling him a real friend from the neighborhood, and 50 <laughs> Cent sharing their similarities on social media. Because if you go to 50 Cent's Many Men song on YouTube, all the top responses are about Trump. And I mean, everybody's talking about Trump being the new 50 Cent. Because the more desperate they get, the worse it backfires on them. Having Trump take a mugshot just made him look more legendary. The 34 felony convictions just raised him over $200 million from donors. And now this image makes him look like the only man strong enough to make America great again. Just look at the background. The people behind him just got shot at and are all cheering behind him like he's Mel Gibson from The Patriot. And honestly, I see no way Trump can lose the presidency now because all of America is sharing this moment. And then seeing the media desperately trying to downplay it, which will make them question all the other lies they've been told about Trump. So if you're pretty- I think it will for a certain percentage of the population, but there, there's a lot of people, like you'd be surprised how fucking brainwashed some people are like especially boomers a lot of like white boomers that only watch uh like mainstream media like cnn msnbc stuff like that like th this is the one thing i find so fascinating is if you actually look at like the demographic shifts from the 2016 to the 2020 election in like terms of voting patterns the only population that voted more for uh, uh the democrats in the in the 2020 election versus the 2016 election was white boomers it was white people over, I think, 55 shifted more to the left. Everyone else shifted more to the right, right? And that's because those people are the ones that are watching mainstream media, right? It's not young people, right? Now, there definitely is a huge issue with young people being, like, heavily radicalized, especially, like, young left-wing people. But the, the, the older people are, like, a lot are still a large percentage of the voting base. Appreciate my concise, light order commentary on the tragic status that is today's reality. Hopefully I've earned your subscription. Then go check out the video when Biden was sleep talking on live television and how the media tried to cover it up. Yeah, man, it's this, this whole situation. It's just like, it, it's insane watching. Every time you think the media can't go any lower, they find a way uh to, to just dig themselves deeper and deeper and just like any little tiny bit of goodwill that they might have had you're just like nah nah it, it, like it's just worse and worse and worse and worse every fucking time um but yeah anyway let me know what you think below like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next one